Here are two methods to find the area of a circle using the method of exhaustion. In the top image, we start peeling off circumferences one at a time and lay them flat as lines. Because the circumference varies linearly with respect to the radius, we see that the shape will eventually form a triangle. In the bottom diagram, we split the circle into an even number of wedge shape pieces. As we create smaller and smaller wedges, we can split the circle apart into those wedge shaped pieces and glue the wedges together to form shapes that look more and more like a rectangle. It turns out that in the top shape, we end up with a triangle that has a height of r and a base of length 2 pi r. And in the bottom shape, we end up with a rectangle where the length is given by half the circumference, which is pi times r, and a height given by the radius of r. So in the top diagram, we get an area of 1 half times 2 pi r times r, which is pi r squared. And in the bottom diagram, we get an area of pi times r squared. Let me know in the comments which visualization you like better.